All right. So for the next step, we're going to um, make use of the asset that we prepared um, to receive the blend shape solve from an uh, order to face. Um, in the document, we um, the graph that's shown here is done in um, Avatar Stream app. That's why it's very simple. It only have the receive live link node, which is basically outputs the blend shape solve value. But what I'm going to demonstrate here is that we're actually going to use the order to face app and we're going to, um, and basically the result of the blend shape solve is what we fed in, in the same app basically. Um, I, we no longer need the script editor, so I'm just gonna close this. And um, we're going to first start by opening um, either the clear solve AR kit file or mark solve AR kit file. Um, either one will work. I'm going to use clear in this case. So I'll just double click and open this file. This file is basically um, has the audio to face setup already where the result of it is hooked to the blend shape solve that then drive this blue character here that actually driven with blend shape. So if I scrub the audio, um, the face is moving again. This is actually blend shape that's driven, driving this character already. So basically, we want the blend shape values to also drive our character. So first, we're going to um, bring in our character. So if we go to the content browser and go to the folder, we should see that we have the tune result that we saved before. I'm going to just drag this in. Um, the scene becomes a bit brighter because the the result file also contains lighting um, and depends on uh, your use case. Um, I'm going to keep both lights for now. Um, the other thing is that the characters when we brought in is facing a different direction. We may want to change that. So if at the top node here, we can set the, uh, the rotate Z to zero. So at least the character is now facing forward as well. Um, we also don't need this character anymore, Claire. So for now, I'm just going to hide it. Um, and we're left with our character, which for now, if I just play this scene, you should see that the character is moving uh, with the animation still, right? Um, the animation as well is also, I think it is about 700 frames. I could be wrong or maybe a thousand plus, but for now I'll just set it to 700. And um, if I scrub this, oh, okay, maybe it's not 700. Do I see it? Okay, it's less than that. So, um, okay, so because the frame rate is set to 24, um, we want to maybe set this to 60. Takes a while to update everything. Um, all right, it's 500 frames, not a thousand. So let's set this to 500. Cool. So so yeah. So this is we have the character again with the animation. Now we're going to update the graph. We go to audio to face uh, Omni graph here. Right click and we should have options to open graph, um, which will open the graph in the generic graph editor, which I'm going to expand here. And you see that this is a very simple graph where in the end we have the blend shape solve. The blend shape solve is connected to a float array tuner which we can fine tune the values of the solve and that can be connected to a stream life link. We actually don't need the stream life link node here so there we can delete this as well. I will keep it there for now. Um, so there are a couple things needed here. Um, we need to create a get attribute. So get attribute. Oh, sorry, not get attribute. Read prim attribute. Read prim attribute. So there are two read prim attribute. No, one is with s, one is without. We're going to use the one with the uh, with s here. So drag this in, and we're going to point this to our uh, tune result. Um, find the uh, uh, blend shape anim full select. Um, second is that we also need the the names from um, the AR kit blend shape anim. So I'm just gonna drag this in, and I'm going to use read attribute and select attribute name uh, blend shapes. Um, for 
For this one, we can actually set it up the same way. We can also use RedPrim attributes and point to the Prim. Um, the difference between the two is that RedPrim's attribute allows us to read more, more than one attribute from a Prim. Um, that's why we, we need it for the, um, for the full because we need two attributes while for the air kit, we only need one attribute. So that's why I can just drag and drop and use that. So that's it for the reader. We're going to also need a node uh, called uh, array set by keys. So that's array set by keys, drag it here. And lastly, we also want to know where we want to output our result. And that will be uh, on the tune result. If we expand the char root, expand, um, and we find the uh, clean animation here. So animation clean, just drag, drop there and choose write attribute. Uh, for the attribute, we want to write to the blend shape weights of the right pretty much bit. So, those are all the nodes we need. Let's, uh, let's start to set up the connections. So first on the RedPrim attributes um, for, for the full, we need to the blend shape weights. So you will go to the array auric and then the blend shapes will go to the key auric. The one from the AR kit, the blend shape names, we're gonna go to the keys. And then lastly, the float tuner output array, we're going to connect to array. And we can connect the result of the array set by keys to the uh, right frame attribute. So that should be it for the graph. If I close this, we can see if this works well. Um, I'm going to change my render settings as well, just to hopefully uh, um, make this play a bit smoother. Um, frame generation by default was is off. I think I have the previous session, that's why this is on. Um, so ray uh, reconstruction as well, you can actually enable it. Um, if uh, this should make things uh, looks nicer as well, but it changed a bit of the look, so depends on your use case. Um, cool. So that should be it. If I if I play audio to face now, you should see that this um, uh, the face should be moving. 只刷票进闸后, 他仍不满足, and um, if I play with the body animation, um, maybe I should set it up in loop, but anyway, I'll just play the body animation and then I play all the phrase. Yeah. 只刷票进闸后, so that's it. Thank you for watching.